Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your weather overtime weather update online, keeping you advised as to what's going on with the forecast at this point and showing again some pretty quiet conditions in the Mid-South area as we go into the course of the next couple of days. We continue again to see the possibility of some more showers and thunderstorms into the forecast. And as of right now, again, if you have had the chance to take a look at the forecast over the last couple of days, it has changed a lot and it's going to be again due to an unexpected visitor, kind of unexpected anyway, coming in from off the Pacific coast. It's going to be uh, right now Tropical Storm Sergio is heading our way and that's really going to be affecting our weather as we head into the rest of the weekend. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Questions about the forecast into the weekend for the Mid-South, drop them into the comments section and again if you have anything in the way of weather reports from the area, temperature, wind speed, whatever you got, let's see where you're from, give us city and state and the weather report from around that area. And, of course, we'll tell you a little bit more about what the forecast is going to be. Yeah, how are you doing, Mr. Keith? Good to see you. So a lot, of, a lot of good help here in the studio for this morning. Going to be seeing, again, the possibility of some quieter conditions after we get done with what's left of Sergio heading our way. We'll talk about that coming up in just a bit. Got some great pictures. Well, not great. Got some fine pictures from the Gulf Coast showing some of the incredible amounts of damage that's been taking place down there. We'll take a look at that. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast, scrolling by in the red bar at the bottom of your screen, or you can catch the forecast details, including the 7 to 10 day forecast here at wreg.com slash weather. Let's go ahead and get started and show you just a little bit about what's going on into the rest of the day today. Temperatures again back into the mid 60s. That's way below normal for this time of the year thanks to our last storm system that passed on through. Looking very nice, plenty of sunshine early, but again going into later on this afternoon, that's where we start to pick up the possibility of a few more showers. Again, it doesn't look like severe weather. And so far, that looks to be staying the same into the course of the rest of the next several days. But if anything changes with severe weather, keep it tuned right here to the weather experts. And, of course, we'll keep you advised on that as we head into Saturday and Sunday. Across the area, taking a look way out east toward the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, some fog and some clouds burning off around the Purchase Knob area. But beautiful views from the National Park Service, if you'd like to take a look at some of that, at nps.gov. Around Ole Miss, a few people out and about this morning. Traffic moving along pretty well and blue skies out there. Kennan Observatory on the Ole Miss campus will be holding a, a free open house coming up this weekend. Unfortunately, if it's cloudy, the telescopes can't see anything, so they may have to cancel that. But if that happens, we'll let you know. So stay tuned for more on that with News Channel 3. Central Memphis Rhodes College from the Weather Underground Camera Network, again showing blue skies, a few thin clouds drifting through, a lot of sunlight on the eastern side of the buildings there. And around Baptist DeSoto camera, our live cam showing traffic increasing to its maximum around rush hour, but otherwise good visibility. Some of those high thin clouds starting to drift on through. We'll see more of that throughout the rest of the day. Plenty of sunshine, although shadows being cast of the buildings across Mud Island out into the Mississippi River Channel. West Memphis and traffic on I-40 moving along pretty well for a beautiful Friday morning. Storm Tracker 3S Radar, good morning to everybody picking up around the area for this morning and looking again at uh, everybody checking in from around the Mid-South and beyond. A lot of questions about various areas of the forecast. We'll talk about the generic forecast coming up here uh, in just a little bit. Craig Gao, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Goff and not too sure how to pronounce that one. Uh, Tigers game tomorrow, any rainfall. Unfortunately, could be some showers out there. We'll talk about that forecast in just a little bit. Currently, not much of anything going on, again, immediately, but over the next several hours, more rainfall expected to be moving in from central and eastern Arkansas, and that is going to be stacking up as we go into tonight, so that could be a problem with Friday night football. Matter of fact, you can see some of that rainfall right over parts of western Arkansas, back to around the area close to Little Rock, Fort Smith, up to around Fayetteville and Harrison. And that's about the heaviest activity that we've got so far. But this is what's coming our direction. Most of this is Gulf of Mexico moisture. We've got a lot more moisture coming in over the course of the next couple of days. Let's see if our storm tracker is working here for right now. All the way back into the East Coast states, that's what's left of Michael moving its way out into the northwestern Atlantic. It is a post-tropical storm system right now. It is still very strong. In essence, it's basically a tropical storm 
lot of different names for storms that have gone through their motions, and this is what's left of it. So some heavy rain from Boston down to around Long Island. Not a threat to us. We'll talk more about this coming up here in just a little while. Cool this morning. Temperatures back in the lower to mid 50s. Good morning to everybody checking in across the area. Thanks for joining us for weather overtime uh, for right now. Rossier, Harris, Rudd, Boonville, Mississippi. Cool there this morning. Uh, thank you very much for that weather report. Uh, everybody else checking in, in and around the area for right now. Austin, Texas. Karen Boyles Shields. Cool in Austin. Good to see. Uh, say hello to my friends uh, Julie Baker and Leah Adams, who live down that direction, if you happen to bump into them out there. Fairly cool for this morning, but warming up throughout the rest of the day. Running the numbers in the short term, the High Resolution Rapid Refresh, or HRRR model, Again, good for about the next 18 to 24 hours. Very short-term, very highly focused forecast here. And that shows, again, those rain chances increasing by about lunchtime, overspreading the area, continuing into the Mid-South as we get into and around the area, coming close to around this afternoon, picking up the kids from school, heading home for dinner. And unfortunately, right about the time Friday night football kicks off, there is going to be that possibility of some more scattered showers. Jesse Tisdale, good to see you from uh, formerly of News Channel 3. Hope everything's going well, sir. Good to see you uh, checking in for this morning. Thanks a lot. And into the rest of the forecast, again, into Saturday, more chances of light scattered showers out there. Now, that's just the short-range model. Going to take a little bit more of a long-range look look at this time is as we go into the rest of the weekend. Again, light chances of rainfall early on. Not that much expected for early Saturday. More chances of rain coming in for around late Saturday evening. So you have kind of a window of opportunity between sunrise Saturday and around lunchtime Saturday to get outdoor activities in. Heading into the rest of the weekend, that's where the rainfall really starts to pick up and could be some embedded thunderstorms in here as well as we go into around Sunday morning across much of the Mid-South. And that could again be a good portion of what we take a look at here going into the rest of the weekend and the early part of next week. So again, this is going to be our main thing into the rest of the next several days. Nicer temperatures for now, not doing too bad. Again, some isolated showers into the rest of the forecast through about Friday and we shouldn't see again too much to worry about here likewise into Saturday mainly just showers out there and starting off again with mostly cloudy skies but more showers expected into the rest of the day then on Sunday as this next storm system the tropical system moves in that's where we get even more rainfall coming on through and could be some thunderstorms embedded in that. Temperatures a little warmer ahead of that system. As that system rolls its way through, winds come up out of the southwest, so that's why our temperatures are going to warm up. But watch what happens. Sunday evening, temperatures will be back in the lower 50s, and then as that front, that system passes on through the area, wraps that cooler weather around the backside of that system. We'll be looking for much cooler weather Monday and Tuesday, lower to mid 50s possible for highs, lower to mid 40s pretty widespread across the area. Some lingering showers and thunderstorms through about midweek, drying out as that system drags down a lot of that cool air. It's going to be cooler, no question about that, but it's also very dry air coming down our way from parts of Canada. So this will be, again, clearing things out next Friday night for football. Looks pretty good. Unfortunately for tonight, there is still going to be that possibility of a few showers and a few thunderstorms out there for right now. Avery Nellum, 46 in Ripley. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Everybody else checking on through. Bruce Deck from Brownsville. Good weekend to go camping. That sounds like a good idea. Haven't done that for quite some time. Belinda Reeser from Anderson, Indiana. Uh, welcome from the Hoosier State. Pretty cool here right now. Good to see uh, Mike Smith, fog rolling off the water at Snow Lake. Fall is beautiful here. Excellent. If you got any pictures, we'd love to show those out there as well. So forward those along to us uh, if you can do that for later on. 44 in Alamo, Tennessee, Steve Kelly. Thank you very much for that weather report for this morning. And uh, see who else we got here. 45 in Camden, Cynthia Stone. Thank you very much again for that uh, weather report for this morning. All right, going into the tropics, a lot of stuff going on. This is Michael right now. 
my maps will behave themselves. There we go. What's left of Michael? It's a post-tropical storm system, which means it's run the course, it's gone over land, it's back out over the water, it's heading into the North Atlantic. It is not a threat to anybody else anymore, but it is still pretty strong. Winds are just below hurricane strength, and as this thing goes out across the waters, it may get very close to becoming a hurricane once again with 70 mile per hour winds by tomorrow morning. If this thing continues, it's going to go right across the Atlantic. This could head for France, Portugal, Spain, maybe even the British Isles, but Michael is no longer a threat for us at this point in time, so good news on that. Now, just south of there, Leslie is still wandering around. This thing has been a named storm for 19 days. That's not quite a record, but that's a very long time for these storms to keep going the way that they have. This also is going to be going across the Atlantic and possibly winding up around Gibraltar, southern Portugal, maybe even Morocco as it goes into the next about 48 hours. So, Leslie, once again, not a threat to anybody immediately, but for North Africa, southern parts of the peninsula in Europe could be looking at some problems there. Now, our weather is going to be taking a very interesting turn over the next couple of days. Sergio started off as just a wandering storm system down south of Central America, and it took a U-turn and is now heading back right across the Baja Peninsula and is making its way right over portions of northwestern areas of Mexico, bringing in a lot of that tropical moisture, just like we saw a few weeks ago with Rosa. Now, as this makes its way back up to the north and to the east, very good possibility that what's left of this system is going to be heading across the Mid-South as we go into next week. Now, this is still several days away, but with a combination of Pacific moisture and Gulf of Mexico moisture, this thing could be giving us a pretty good deluge. And as you saw on Monday into Tuesday on our seven-day forecast, that's where we're looking for a lot more rainfall. So it's a good possibility that Sergio is going to be heading our way if nothing else changes, not as a hurricane, not as a tropical storm, but as the circulation around this continues, drawing in moisture from the Pacific and portions of the Gulf, could be some soggy conditions out there. So stay tuned to me throughout the weekend, and we'll keep you advised on where Sergio is going. Going to give you a 3P today from Arkansas SEC 73, federal officer uh, going down to the Gulf Coast, part of Tennessee Task Force 1, if I'm not mistaken. Panama City, Florida, still lots of damage in and around that area. This is what it looked like before everybody hit the roadway just about a couple of days ago. Some of the pictures sending back, again, still showing monumental amounts of damage in and around portions of that area. Uh, just west of Panama City, on the backside of the storm, winds were rushing offshore, heading out into the Gulf as that rotation carried the storm system along. The winds pushed toward the Gulf of Mexico, and the winds here pushing the trees back toward the Gulf Coast area and downing a whole bunch of them as they worked their way back along Panama City, Florida. Also seeing numerous reports, a little bit small right there, but you can see again tr uh, train cars off the tracks blown right off of there. Some of them have been separated from their wheelbase and again some pretty good damages. Some of those cars are right over the roadway. So again Arkansas SEC 73. Thank you very much for your pictures on that. Please stay safe that way. If you're in the Mid-South sheltering from the storm you may want to give it a little bit of extra time because there's still a lot of cleanup necessary both to get the emergency crews in and a lot of basic services. Water, power, everything else are still um, suspension until a lot of things get cleaned up. So maybe now is not the best time to go back. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll keep you updated on that. If you've got pictures, we'd love to see them. Please drop them to me at aonic underscore wreg3 on Twitter, aonic no underscore necessary wreg3 on Instagram, and find me on Facebook as well at Austin Onic wreg. Willie, Willie McNeese, 52 in Lambert, Mississippi. Thank you very much for that one. 45 in Red Banks, Mississippi. Thank you, Debbie Hollis, for that one. Tony Teal in Lawrence, 46 degrees, thank you. And Kesha Dixon, Keisha Dixon, not too sure how to say that one, 52 degrees uh, in Batesville, Mississippi. Counts, Tennessee, 44, Allison Wolf Clymer. Thank you guys very much for those weather reports. For tonight, this is what you're looking for. A cool Friday night football with those scattered showers out there. Again, we're not talking about much drizzle to showers. Not expecting thunderstorms, but once again, that's something to keep an eye out for if you are a uh, official or principal at the game. If you see lightning or you have that detected on radar, 
Remember, it's time to wrap things up and get the game postponed and everybody to safety out there. More on the forecast. Again, join me on Talk Back Live on AM 730. You coming on here for yeah, a minute? Yeah, we're going to come over here for a minute. Okay. Mr. Keith, everybody. Everybody, Mr. Keith. One of our best weathermen in the station. <laughs> hey, very knowledgeable, knows his stuff. Listen to him. Three on your side. Yeah, and, and, well, hey, get one of the best photojournalists in the business right there. Be. Work with him on many an early morning, stuck out in the middle of nowhere with winter weather coming on through. Great sense of humor. Great to work with these guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you very thank much, you. sir. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. No okay. Team, teamwork. That's what it's all about around here. Temperatures again throughout the rest of the next couple of days. We'll have you updated on Bob and Josh with Talk Back Live on AM 730. Can't tune in on air. Tune in online at talkbacklivenetwork.org. And, of course, I'll have your forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. Join me on my Facebook page coming up at about 1045, give or take, when we finish recording all the stuff in the studio, and we'll have more about whether where the troops are, if you have friends or loved ones serving around the United States or places beyond the United States, anybody serving out there, we'll take a look at some of the places that people are stationed from the United States military service out there, and that'll also be on Periscope and Twitter as well, so be glad to have you along for that. More coming up on News Channel 3 live at 9, and also on News Channel 3 at noon. We're doing sort of a fruit basket upset program for today. Todd Demers will be in for your evening shows so I can get some rest for tonight before coming back for Saturday morning and then we'll be back to a semi-normal schedule as we go into next week with yours truly helping out on Daybreak and the Noon Show as we go into next week so definitely want to stay tuned for that as well. More coming up with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day. Questions, concerns, anything like that, give us a buzz again wreg.com slash weather or email me at austin.onic at wreg.com would love to have you along for the ride on that. Stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of Friday and right on into the weekend. Thank you very much for joining us for today's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.